All right, guys, so we're on the ride live stream. Checking it out together, guys. Let's get this party started. Let's see what ride has in store for us. If you guys are excited, don't forget to hit that like button. I'm excited. Let's see. It's going to be a live reaction, whatever you want to call it. We're observing it together. News. New stuff. New. Just. Man, I don't even know what to expect at this point, honestly, but I'm excited. Let's check it out, lads. Let's check it out. Is that Soraka? Both like Jester from Critical Role. Cosplays, of course, of course. This is like a little intro they're doing. Yo, give me some Rune King action, man. Hey everyone, hey. Safe Locked here on behalf of the League Dev team to Hi. welcome you to Season 2021. We want to start today by saying thank you for being here. You're welcome. We're so excited you tuned in from all over the world as we kick off the next year of League together. In some ways, this year will be a little different. As you know, there are more ways than ever to enjoy League. Our hope is that we can create a few moments throughout the year where we can all come together and celebrate as a community. So, to that note, League devs from across Riot are joining us today to help kick off the new season. Here's a look at everything we have in store. Okay, so League of Legends is the first one. That's the one we were, we're we are here for. So, perfect. Good. Today perfect. marks the start of a new season in League, and with that, a new chapter for Runeterra. So, there's something we'd like to show you. Oh. If you've been following League for a while, you'll know that since reuniting, Senna and Lucian have been fighting back the darkness. Okay, so here comes Rune King. As the Black Mist continues to spread beyond yep. the Shadow Isles, Rune Terra faces a new threat that could leave the world in ruin. <sighs> the Rune King is here, baby. Let's go. Let's go. The Rune How King. Loose again. What did you do to this thing? You'll have it fixed by Mudtown. With currents and wind conditions, we can be there in three days. I like Lucian's voiceover. It's sick. Our boy Viego's here. Mist should be leagues from here. Well, it saved us a trip. Sinha? Hey, we don't run from darkness. We light the way. Imagine just walking into that, yo. Oh! Oh! This is high definition. You don't belong here. Oh, there he is. Destroy this world. <laughs> she is my world. <laughs> what in the hell? Holy moly, dude. Samira, there it is. Poppy, hey, let's go. Yeah, he's possessing everyone. That's his ability, he can possess people. Ash. Oh, man. Oh, shit, it's pain, dude. He looks, like, he looks more like a ruined prince, in all honesty, though. Ooh, dang. Oh, that's a 
sword. <laughs> Lucian's E ability, man. It's too fast. What an actual hell did I just watch? My goodness, that was sick. That was I, I love how we got to see Poppy and Vayne and oh, We have to go back for her. Sinner? Oh, wait, they lost it. We can't defeat him alone. What is that? That's something Neckford probably knows what the hell that is. I don't know what the hell that is. That's right. Viego, the ruined king, is here. And even though we love a good cliffhanger, this time we're going to continue the story across multiple league experiences throughout the year. We'll talk more about what that looks like during the stream. With that, let's hand things over to the rest of the league PC team to share a sneak peek at some of the new champions, Damn, skins, that was sick. and gameplay changes coming this year. That was actually sick. First off is Jeremy Lee, who's going to catch you up on the preseason item changes and look ahead to some of what's new coming in 2021. All right, Jeremy Lee, hit me up. Hit me up, Jeremy Lee, my boy. Give me the good stuffs. Dude, you already hey know the new changes. I'm Jeremy, AKA Riot Brightmoon, the lead producer for gameplay on League of Legends. I am so excited to welcome all of you to the start of season 2021. Today, I'm gonna to talk about some of the recent updates we've made to help you get ready for this new season, as well as some of the things we're working on that we haven't released yet. So let's get to it. Let's get to it, indeed. Preseason recap. This preseason, we've completely revamped League's item system to keep the game's foundation strong as it continues to evolve. Deciding which items to this. buy is part of your path to victory <coughs> in every game. And item choices. We played this for like two months. We already know all this. Give us the new stuff. And understandable. So we took a look at every item and talked about what was working well and what we could improve. Some items haven't changed much but we've removed some others and added some new picks, all to make sure that each item has a clear and unique purpose in the game. One problem we especially wanted to solve was that most of the time, earning a powerful item just wasn't very rewarding. Getting your first big item should feel impactful, and champions of every playstyle should have multiple choices to be excited about. So we've added Mythics, a new item class with a powerful effect that shaped the way you play each game. The idea of Mythics is He's great. I just feel like the execution was not really good. More control on how but you want to play. It feels like there's almost because always Mythics one so Mythic powerful, that's just too broken. You can only have one at a time, so choose wisely. But Another area we focused on was the shop itself. We've wanted to improve the shop for a long time, but the technology it was using was too old and fragile. We've completely rebuilt the shop with new Yo, tech and tons please of Please make the thing on the left For with example, the boots and the wards up the pinned. Tab per, to make always. Suggestions based on what high always level pinned. Are building. Every time you pin it in a game, you go to the next game, it's unpinned. Enemy team. Why? When so I pin it, I want to pin forever. To items, forever. Every it. game. New shops got your back. Every game. Updating such Keep a it foundational pinned, please. system is going to have a big impact on the game. So we're keeping a close eye on balance and what everyone is building, especially in these first few months. Thank you to all the players who've been giving us feedback along the way, and please keep it coming. Because like the rest of League, the item system will continue evolving. I just want to see more Rune King, I'll be honest. Man, he looks... actually looks sick. I like, I like him. In addition to the Edgy item system fuck. overhaul, we're making some changes to Ranked to prep for this season. So before you get started on the climb, which by the way, you can do today, let's take a look at what's new. We know it's been frustrating to win streak into promos only to go one and two when the stakes are high. So we're removing promotion series between divisions. Which, surprisingly, go through promos between is a good decision. Tiers, like from Very good decision, gold, actually. But otherwise, it's smooth climbing. This means that you'll no longer have demotion protection between divisions, but you'll still have that buffer once you reach a new tier. We also know that starting a new season just to grind back up to where you finished the previous one can feel a little tedious. So we've adjusted the way that provisionals work. This year, you should start your climb closer to where you ended. And for all of us sweaty hopefuls, Master Tier and above unlocks immediately with the new rank season, oh. which means the race to be first in Challenger is open today. 
There's All right, still well, guys, LP I guess time to get Challenger. What can I say? Challenger. No more waiting two weeks for it to unlock. It's ready now, if you are. Finally, we've been making some improvements to matchmaking and player behavior features. Over the past six months, we've been improving our detection and punishment of players who quit or intentionally ruin the game for others. Yes, thank you. While we still have a lot to do, we've hey. been able to improve detection of players intentionally feeding by 40%. Looks like they took a clip out of one of my ranked games, I swear, I'm not even kidding. And players AFKing in games. But even if it's happening less, when it does happen, it can be really frustrating. So one of the big highlights we've recently shipped is LP mitigation. So now you don't lose as much LP when someone on your team Which is a good change. Ranked. Surprisingly, leave, also a good change. lose more LP for abandoning their team. We'll talk more about our additional plans here soon, as we hope to make more changes that encourages everyone to work together to get to that victory screen. The issue is people still give up too easily. That's the biggest issue I still think, like by far. People give up way too easily. It's insane. It was a long time coming, but I'm happy to say that we've had a great first year of Clash. Over 28 million players played Clash in 2020, and we want to keep that momentum going. This year, we want to make sure that everyone who wants to play Clash can participate. So we're looking at improvements to the free agent tab. Right now, a group of Yo, give me the new changes, please. Player. Give me new changes. We're also exploring a way for free agents to find themselves a team. We need the clickbait. We're also going to test running Clash tournaments during the week, so that those of you who work weekends will still have your shot at glory. Or going 0-3 like I usually do. Clash is sick. The Clash is like actually really, clash. really cool, though. It's a really good idea. Once. It's so much better than playing solo queue. It's really good. Clash ridiculous. tournament of 2021 starts next weekend. Too bad all my we friends don't play League anymore. It feels bad, to man. finish all of your placements before then. So for this tournament only, you don't need to be placed in ranked. What is this? Looking further towards the future, we want to focus on improving the systems that exist around the game. And let me tell you, League has a lot of these. Ranked, Honor, Summoner level, Champion Mastery, Event Passes, you get the point. Needless to say, Most there's of them a are lot useless. going on. That's and the thing, it doesn't always feel like things are working together. True. Spending time in League should feel meaningful, no matter how you're doing it. True. And we want to bring all these complex systems together in a way that gives you clear progress and rewards for everything that you do. We also want to recognize your personal accomplishments and playstyle and show them off to other players. So whether it's flexing on your Ew. friends with your rank, <laughs> celebrating your skin collection of your favorite champion, or just how many champs you have Mastery 7 on, we want the way you play to feel meaningful and easy to show Ooh, off. That looks, damn, now, that looks sexy. We're still in early development on all Holy. this, but we'll share more later this year. Dude, that looks hella sexy. Now, good okay. luck with your climb in ranks, your rerolls in ARAM, and snatching that Clash trophy with your friends. Thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing all of you on the Rift. Wait, is that the only new change that they're going to talk about? Hello? Come on, you got to give us more than that, a little bit, no? Hi. I'm Ryan oh, there Reeve we go. Morales, Our boy Reeve. Let's the go. lead producer of the Champions Team. I want to take a little time to talk with you about some of the plans Champions Team has in store for 2021. So last year, we set a goal to ship at least hey, one new Yone, champion I love Yone so much. in every position, with the exception of mid lane, where we wanted to have both a mage and a melee champion. We believe that players shouldn't have to go longer than a year to get a new champion to try in their role. So this is something we plan on doing again this Samira. year. It's OP man. OP. Up first on that list is a new jungler, one you just saw in the opening cinematic. That's right. We're finally bringing Viego. <laughs> oh, damn, that's a splash art. Into league as a playable <laughs> champion. At long last, damn, he's more he looks than so just nice. an item. And Sexy, to prove yeah. it, if I was gay, quick peek at the new gameplay that, he'll be 100%. bringing to the Rift. Oh, they give us gameplay him. Let's go. Okay. I don't know what he's doing. Don't know. I literally don't know any of his abilities. Wait, he what? Wait, he killed Lucian? He became Lucian. If you want to try him out yourself, he'll be hitting PBE very soon and goes live later this month. But what does very soon mean? Today or next or Monday or like Tuesday or like when? 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 So Viego's when? release is just the start of the Rune King story. And the next three new champions we will be releasing this year will also tie into Viego's return. Oh, that's now, pretty Now for hard. a while, we've been wanting to add more magic damage fighters, especially one tailor-made for top lane. We believe tailor -made. snipping a bigger space out of our roster for AP fighters will not only lead to more diversity in top lane, but also more choices for other lanes as well. And with that goal in mind, we began to sew together a new champion 
for the ruined So there's going to be some kind of like... But where do their loyalties lie? With Viego or with Senna and Lucian in the fight for hope? Some kind of like... Also, for our okay. internet sleuths out there, we hit a small Easter egg for this champ in the Ruin King game. So let's see if any of you can find it. So after we pass through the new skirmisher, the next champion after that is a gloomy new artillery mage who would prefer if we just didn't even bother her at all. I mean, I don't blame her. What? These days so there's many so many hints. skill shots and dashes and hyperactivity around Summoner's Rift. True. Either way, as tiring oh. as all these champions can be, shooting skill shots everywhere, sure beats being back in that happy-go-lucky oh, it's a Yordle. Yordle city. She would choose anything over that colorful, horrible, bright place. So it sounds like a gothic Yordle. Third champion That's pretty that'll sick. be part of the Ruined King's return is a marksman. But much like Senna, they are planned for a non-traditional position. It's a bit too early, though, to say more about this champ, so look out for future roadmaps. For a for new a Sentinel new of Light? Sentinel of Light. That's pretty hype. Dude, there's so much content happening right now. My goodness. Now that we've talked about such a long video, hope you guys don't mind. Champions, let's get right into VGUs. Mundo. So, first of all, we're still hard at work on the Dr. Mundo update, which should go live this spring. We really want to amplify Mundo's whole like dark comedy theme while bringing his visuals up to date as well. Last time we shared his new concept, we heard a lot of feedback from players that his hair was a bit too well groomed for Mundo. We talked as a team about that and we agreed with it. So we updated it to look less well kept as you can see in the new portrait art shown here. Now, as for his gameplay, we still want Mundo to go where he pleases, chucking cleavers along the way. So we'll be keeping a lot of what you love about so Mundo. I made a video about, about Mundo but Rework, by the way, already today. Check it out. Week, that'll go way deeper into Mundo's development. It's already Finally, out. I made a video on it. They leaked another it. player choice VGU poll last year. And while we didn't quite make it for 2020, we're happy to say it's coming this week. Oh. You'll be able to choose which champion you think this week we is should Friday. update next. What? So <laughs> it's literally Friday. Five champions. Two returning champions in Shivana and Nocturne, as well as three newcomers in Udir, Quinn, and Skarner. Skarner needs it the most, I think, or Udir, vote, but I want you Nocturne. You can learn more about why we chose these champions, what we would consider really changing Nocturne. on them, so that you can make the best, most informed decision on who to vote for. But I think Skarner or Udir needs it more. Vlog along with the poll this week. So that wraps it up for Champions Team. I can't wait for you all to see the new champions we have in store for Viego's return as well as what you think of Mundo's VGU progress. It's pretty hype, man. Thanks guys, for watching. I don't know. I'm excited. See you on the rift. I'm excited, guys. I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm pretty excited. I think that's going to be it for this, though. I don't think they're going to announce too much more for the league side of it, really. Hey, everyone. I'm John, a.k.a. Bellissimo, and I'm the product lead for personalization and events here on the league dev team. Let's not waste any time and get into some of the things that we have planned. Well, for apparently, never mind. There's more. Guys, there's a lot of stuff happening here. My goodness. Skins. Hope you guys don't mind. This video is kind of long. 150 champions in league. But... There are a lot of mains There's to make a skins lot. for. A lot stuff. So in 2020, we Holy. stepped up the number of skins that we ship each year in hopes that champion mains would no longer have to wait years between skins. Yeah, give me a new Yone that skin, please. That doesn't mean our work is done. There are still some champions who haven't gotten a skin in a while. So this year, you can expect something for Fiddlesticks, Tom Kench, Corky, Camille, Galio, Lulu, Nautilus, Wukong, Nunu, uh, no, Yone. Sejuani, Rumble, Yumi, and Twitch. Give me some Yone. If your favorite champion isn't on the list, don't worry. There are lots more to come as we plan to ship over 140 skins this year. This also includes some skins for our more popular champions, including Vayne, Caitlyn, and Blitzcrank. Unlucky, I guess, guys. We, yeah, we tried, guys. We tried. We tried. For any given thematic, there's only so many champions that really make sense in that world. With us making more and more skins every year, it means that we run into a problem that we Dude. call thematic exhaustion. This means that we've either run out of champions that work well in a thematic. This guy has a good voice for radio. Their lack of interest I'm just through purchase rate, play rate, and feedback. All of this indicates that we should keep trying new things. We'll still be revisiting some of our most popular thematics this year, like Project Ooh, and Metal projects. Academia. Oh yes, yes, but please. We also want to explore new worlds. In February, we'll be celebrating oh, the new year with a brand new thematic, set in 2057, the year of the Ox. Lunar Beast is a world where futuristic cityscapes and okay, so the league is correct collide. for this as well. High fashion streetwear with a touch of traditional elegance is the style of this year's Lunar New Year celebration. Here's a first look at Fiora, 
Oh Jarvan my lord. And Alistar. Damn. We're all part of this year's Lunar B squad. Were those the, the ones that were in the league? I can't remember. Retro I forgot. Futurism in space is more your vibe. Dude, they look and sick. Good news. Our second major thematic of the year is Space Groove. Damn. An eccentric take on a <gasps> sci-fi universe full of far out fun and color. The laws of physics and logic don't always apply here. But some what of our favorite hell? champions just really dig down. Oh, so that's the luck skin that got leaked. We have lots of ideas for new thematics. And so we love your help in prioritizing which ones you want to see the most. So this week, we're holding a player choice vote between three thematics that we've been exploring. Codename Monster Tamers, Crime City Nightmare, and Debonair Dude, 2. Crime City Nightmare, obviously. Monster what? Tamers is a world where champions harness powerful creatures from across Runeterra mm. to challenge each other in high stakes matches. Mm. Yes, oh, come City on. Nightmare, Come on. on a crime scape that is Valorant City. How do you not choose this? Takes a Look at this. Horrifying turn. Easily the As best choice. A mysterious choice. figure introduces those desperate for power to an ancient Cthulhu-inspired evil. Yes, please. Finally, we have Debonair 2.0. In a world where powerful elixirs grant extraordinary abilities, two rival clubs vie for power. Nah, 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 Classy nah. opulence meets modern noir as champions work together to take back what That's they That's cool, but man. Not, not as cool as the other one. We're going to ship whichever thematic gets the most votes this year. And we may revisit some of the others later, depending on your interest and feedback. Okay, so now maybe that's... Oh, there's, there's, there's more. We've <laughs> there's been working so to more. improve events on League. And this year, there are three main areas we want to focus on. For starters, we're going to keep running featured game modes alongside every major event. One Speaking of our of, biggest learnings last year was that players must... They haven't done a featured game mode in so long. Amplify champion nah, fantasies. I think about it. For example... In Earth, Nothing new. we amplify fantasies by asking, what if my champion could cast all the time? Or in yeah. One for All, we ask, what if my champion got to stack with itself? We believe that there are other interesting ways to amplify champion fantasies, and we'll be exploring a new mode in 2021. Oh. As well as bringing back- This one's a good one. I like this one. This is a good rotating mode. Game modes. This, one, this is a fun one. The second area we'd like to focus on is the event pass system. 2020 was a crazy year. And while we were able to ship a lot of content, does anyone actually use we the event passes? To get to I never use it. Ever, changes literally. That we hoping to. I just, we I think know, clarity I and care. ease of experience can improve a lot. And we'll be care. sharing more details on our plans to revamp the system in the first half of this year. Finally, one of the things that made Spirit Blossom stand out from other events was that it was centered around the lore of Runeterra. We've gotten feedback that you want to see Runeterra stories. Oh my God, I love Yone so much. The world evolve, and League's champions continue their journeys. At the end of Spirit Blossom, Ari and Yasuo left Ionia on an adventure to Billswater. Their story will continue in The Ruined King, a League of Legends story. Which I can't wait to play. But things aren't going to end there. Viego's back, and we'll be following his path of destruction in League PC later this year. Where will the Ruination spread next? Who can stand up to the Ruined King? The Splash Arts. And who will fall? Oh, they look Thanks so good. Thanks so much good, for man. watching. The only reason we get <clears> to do <throat> any of this cool stuff is because of your continued support. Yeah, you're welcome. So on behalf you, of the League hey. dev team, Thank you. All good. Don't worry. Don't mention it. I got you, baby. I got you. Right, I think it's Wild Rook now. Yeah. All right. So that's going to be, I think, it for this, guys. Uh, yeah, that was a really, really, hey folks, Brian Feeney here. really, really long video. Uh, a lot of new information. It's insane how much information there was stored in that. But we got teasers for new champions coming out. We got Viego teasers, some gameplay footage of Viego. Guys, we got a, an absolutely obscene amount of stuff. I hope you're excited for it. I don't know when Vegas hitting the PBE server. It could be today. It could be like Monday. I, I have no idea. So when it does happen, of course, I'll make a video on it as usual. But until then, thanks for watching, guys. It was a long video. Hope it was worth it. Hope uh, you know you don't mind that it was that long. Um, but thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate all of you being here. And I'll see you guys for the next one. Peace.